I have some advice for aspiring biographers out there. Never, ever listen to your wife about what book you should write next. Now, my wife, as many wives and girls back in the day, liked Rod Stewart a whole bunch. Uh, but I didn't think that, you know, I mean, you're going to write writing 30 books in the Beatles, you're going to, what do you got to do? You go to Rod Stewart, it's a big step down. But he was, you know, do you think I'm sexy and you want my body? Oh my God. But apparently many of them did. So, yeah, this is the only fucking time I listened to my old wife, Rinda, first American wife, first and only American wife, about what should I write next, honey? And she said, Ron Stewart. So I spent a couple of years on this book, which is a good book because I got to talk to uh, people very close to Rod. But nobody cared. And I was stuck with this. Uh, I think, but I had so much money at that time that it didn't really, oh, money. And uh, I remember that we used to have a bulletin board in our office. And if we got checks under $5,000, she'd say, my wife would say, do you, want, do you want me to take that to the bank? Oh, how much is it? So $4,700. Oh, just wait until we get a few of them. There's no reason to make a special trip for that amount of money. So. Um, yeah, we were making some money at that point, so I just went along with this thing and I wrote this book on Rod Stewart, which is a perfectly good book on, a good, reasonable book on Rod Stewart, even today. Tell me who gives a fuck about that. You know, I don't know. I suppose I could, you know, there are some hard, Rod Stewart maybe cares. Uh, and there are, you know, and he still sells out, but he's an old man now in his 70s and I can't imagine that he's going to have the kind of, he doesn't have the kind of gravitas that the Beatles had. So I don't have much to say about this book, except that it was badly published by a couple of shitty publishing companies. I think I made like $3,000, spent a good amount of time on it. And it stands, if anyone's ever interested, down the road, 100 years from now, about who was this Rod Stewart guy who came up around the same time as the Beatles and had Ronnie Wood in his band? Uh, then this book, uh, Vagabond Heart, will be useful. But other than that, uh, mm, not so much. Um, dear, I just gave one of my books a bad review. Again, the book isn't bad. It's just the subject I don't think is that. Even at the time, didn't turn me on. That should have been a big red flag. I, think, I, was like, I didn't want to do it. But she said, no, 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 no. Women will love it. You know, they're going to buy it, man. The women love Rod Stewart. They're going to be a sexy guy. They're going to buy that book. None of them did. So, um, yes, God bless him. He was a nice fellow and uh, wrote the introduction to one of my as of yet unpublished books. I've met him several times and he's a good guy, but uh, didn't really make it as a book. So, um, out of uh, perhaps a sense of charity, uh, you're free to, to purchase this book um, from iconeditions.net, amazon.com. Um, if you like my body and you think I'm sexy. Um, no, if you, uh, if you really like Rod Stewart, this is the book for you. The only book, because I guarantee you, nobody else will write a book about this guy. Okay? All right. Later.